Hello and welcome, my name is Thomas, and in this video, we're gonna talk about the fact that Instagram banned my account. So before you ask the question, the answer is no. That is not clickbait. That's not something to try to get you to watch the video. It is actually something that happens. So uh, the story uh, behind my account actually being banned actually has something to do with a video that I created a little while back called how to upload to your Instagram from Mac Safari or something near that title. But in essence, I was taking a lot of photos, right? And so I wanted a very simple way to be able to upload to my Instagram account from my Mac. And so what I found was a nice workaround that actually works in Safari on a Mac where you could actually upload from your browser. You kind of have to trick Instagram's website into making it think that it's the mobile version so then it allows you to upload photos, but it did work. So if there was just a simple photo that I wanted to upload, that worked great. The problem was that pretty regularly, I also like to upload videos and sometimes I would like to upload multiple photos or multiple images for one post on Instagram, which you also couldn't do. For me, it was just a little bit annoying to have be working on my uh, laptop or working on my desktop all day and then having to switch over uh, and send everything over to my phone just to upload things. It didn't really make any sense to me that even to this day, to the time of this recording, Instagram still does not have the ability on their website, one of the most popular apps in the on earth, doesn't allow you to upload in any way from your desktop. So what does this lead me to do? A consumer, I go in search for an app, a Mac app, that would then allow me to upload to my Instagram account from my Mac. So I tried out like three or four of them and none of them were working. So by the time I got to the fourth one, or I should say they worked, but they didn't quite have the features that I wanted or they didn't upload at the right resolution or they just didn't look good when they uploaded. So by the time I got to probably the third or fourth app, um, I connected my Instagram account to this third party app, after which point Instagram started requiring me to enter in a phone number to access my account. So I entered in a phone number and then it, didn't allow me in. So then a couple more minutes passed and I tried to log in again and I got this message. Your account has been disabled for violating our terms. Learn how you may be able to restore your account and then it gives you a link. Over at the link, it says, learn more about your account. Your account has been disabled for not following our terms. You won't be able to log into this account and no one else will be able to see it. Some of the things we don't allow include artificially collecting likes, followers or shares, posting repetitive content, or repeatedly contacting people for commercial purposes without their consent. If you think this was a mistake, please let us know. And the words let us know are a link. So I click the link, which gives me a form, which I can then appeal uh, to go in there and have my account reinstated. So pretty much what it is, is they send you this message with a special little code. And so what you have to do is you have to take a photo of yourself with that code written on the piece of paper that you're holding, and then you have to send them the photo. So I went through all those steps. It's got the information about uh, you know, that code, it also has your account name, your number, all that information on that piece of paper to verify that it's really you. I sent it to them and I never heard anything back. So is there a chance that at some point I could get my Instagram account reinstated? Possibly. It's not too big of a heartbreaker for me because I really don't use Instagram all that much anymore. Kind of one of the interesting things about the timing of this is just recently, uh, one of the leaders, or I don't know if it was the founder, but somebody ahead of Instagram announced that Instagram itself is no longer a photo sharing app as I talked about in a previous video, like they've been known for for so long. One of the things I always enjoyed doing was taking pictures and so it was kind of a natural fit. So what they did say is that it's not a photo sharing app anymore, it's a video sharing app. And so in essence, they're trying to shift everybody to creating portrait style, very short and snappy smartphone videos which would lead you to think of what other platform? That would be TikTok. So in other words, Instagram has announced that they are now TikTok. Well, the interesting thing about that is that TikTok already exists. So that makes a switch fairly simple. So yes, I am going to be starting a TikTok account, which is now available. If you'd like to follow me over there, that's 
great. I've, I'm going to put a link in the description. But at the end of the day, one of the reasons why I wanted to share this wasn't so that you'd go follow me on TikTok. Really, these social media platforms have been something that's been a topic for conversation for a long time. And this is just another illustration of why it is so important that you as a creator have a home base for all of the content that you create. So on that note, what I would recommend that you do is head on over to thomasmcgee.tv. Over there, I've got a site with all of the videos that are currently on YouTube and some of the videos that are not. So it's totally free, create a free account, and then you get access to everything. And in the future, I'm gonna be adding downloads, I'm probably gonna be doing some interviews and more exclusive content that once again, will be completely free but will only be available over at thomasmcgee.tv. Now I won't dive into this too far because I know I've talked about it quite a bit in the past, but one of the things that is so appealing about social media is the reach that they provide to you. But I can't tell you the number of creators I've seen or I've talked to who have put all their eggs in one basket. We even heard news from less than a year ago where there was talk that that TikTok itself might get shut down and that there were people who were going crazy because all of their income and their entire platform was built upon that platform. So at the end of the day, it was TikTok who got to determine uh, if they got to continue to reach their audience, if they got to continue to monetize, just like in my situation where if I were a content creator that was solely getting my revenue from Instagram, I would be toast. I would have no recourse. And so that's why I decided to set up thomasmcgee.tv and of course decided to create the Notable Press theme on which it is built. And I highly recommend that everybody do the same. Now, one of the things that I've done for you, if you're curious at all about Notable Press is I've set up a free trial for you. So if you'd like to jump in there and try it out, you can do that totally free of charge. So click the link in the description if you'd like to try it out. But the bigger point, aside from all of the other things in regards to whether Instagram or TikTok or YouTube or Facebook, what I highly would recommend to you is quite the contrary to what you might think I'm saying, which is never use social media. But what I would recommend is to begin using these platforms to help build leverage for whatever brand or whatever content you're trying to get out there. So like I said, I just wanted to be able to post some simple photos and some videos on Instagram. Obviously I can no longer do that. So I'm now going to be doing that on TikTok. I am completely neutral to whatever platform it is. I've tried out just about every platform under the sun. And if I start to see uh, growth or if I start to see uh, leverage from that platform, I'll use it. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be pointing back to something that I own and that I control. And that's something that you should definitely be doing as well. So that's it. Morals of the story. If you're going to be using Instagram, be careful connecting any third party apps to Instagram because apparently that's a bannable offense, or at least it was in my particular case. Rule number two is do not put all your eggs in one basket. Make sure that you do have your own home on the web. And that's, again, one of the reasons why I built Notable Press, not just a static website that is basically a digital version of a business card, but rather in and of itself a platform that people can go and consume the best of your content. So we're gonna have lots more videos here to come. If you found this video useful or enlightening, hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.